Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. Now someone has requested me to explain the exercise from the Kaggle. Here you can see different types of courses they have provided. From the learn section you can find them and here you can select any courses. So I have selected this intro to deep learning because someone has requested me to do the exercise. So I will create a playlist where our main focus will be doing these exercises. Okay. So I assume that you have an idea about deep learning. Now you want to practice, you want to see the real implementation, then this playlist will be very helpful for you. First, we will start with these lessons. We will uh, revise the tutorial and then we will do the exercise. This is our main emphasis for this playlist. Okay. So if you have an overall idea about deep learning, this will be very good for you. Okay. Now let's start it. First, I will click on the tutorial. You can. Uh, just go to this website click on the learn and then you can visit this okay simple now see i hope you know all these things so our main objective is to revise the things now my question is what is deep learning it may be your interview question and what is the difference between machine learning and deep learning so you can say that deep learning is just a part of machine learning the subset of machine learning and to be more appropriate it is an approach to machine learning where we use neural networks right Okay, so in traditional machine learning algorithms, we didn't use neural networks, but here we have used neural networks and we are trying to predict the values of weights and biases. Okay, now first, what is this? This is a neuron, one input neuron. X is the input, the blue weight, B means bias. Why bias? Can you tell me why bias are included? Because you can think that anywhere you cannot get any direct relationship. There are some other things which always impact, right? So that's why we include the bias. Why is the output? So output equals to W into X plus B. Okay. So now our job is to find the W. So that whenever we get any input later on, we can simply apply the weights on the input and we can predict the output. Right. So you have data sets. Now you train the data sets. You try to find the W. So that later on, on the input, we can apply the W and we can find the output. Simple, this is the basic concept, right? Now, how it is done? Can you tell me? This is done by calculating the loss function. What is the loss function? Loss function means, suppose in your data set, you already have the output. Those are previous data, historical data. So, you have the output in case of supervised learning. Now, your job is to find what is the predicted output and what is the real output. So, you calculate the difference. That is the loss. That means you are not predicting correctly. You are making some mistakes. Okay. There are some amount of loss. For calculating loss, there are many loss functions. You can use any loss function depending on your requirement. Now on that loss function, you calculate what is the loss and then you try to minimize the loss. Minimize the loss. How to minimize the loss? By changing the weights. So you have to calculate for which weights and for which bias the output, the loss is the minimum. Right? If you find that W and find that B, then you can use those W and B to predict any future output that is the simple logic okay now see here they have given a good example they have provided sugar as input and calories as out okay so you have data set where they have sugars as input and calories okay so from that so from in that data set you train your model and you find that this is the value of w so that later on whenever you get some sugars you apply that w and you calculate the calories right okay now see here this is for multiple inputs Okay, so not only sugars, you may have some other inputs also. So for that, every input you have a weight W0, W1, W2 and there is a bias. Now you are predicting the output Y. Okay, so your job is to find for which weights and biases the loss is the minimum. Then you get your weights and biases, you can use them on your inputs and you can predict the output. Simple. Okay, now let's create our first neural network. Here you can see from TensorFlow import keras. So from TensorFlow library, you have to import keras and you have to import layers. These are required for creating the linear unit. Okay. Now first create a network with one linear unit. So module equal to keras dot sequential layers dot dense units one input shape three. Here units equal to one means the output will be one. Input shape equal to three means. In the input, you have three parameters, maybe sugar, added sugar, cholesterol. Okay, so it will look like this. So you have 
one output and three inputs okay maybe this one is sugar maybe this one is added sugar maybe this one is cholesterol okay. so they are taking three inputs and one out single neuron okay see here they have explained we defined how many outputs we want output units equal to one so we want one output we want to know what is the calorie value right so we are just predicting the calories so units equal to one and the second argument this is the second argument input step so we tell keras the dimension of the inputs setting input step equal to three means that it will take three features sugar fiber protein okay now they have given a your turn that is our main focus now let's do this find a linear model for the red wine quality data so if you click here you will uh, come into this exercise page and here only you can run the cells see they have told that we have learned the building blocks and now if you run this uh, just ignore the warnings this is for plotting like white grid means grid plot okay and these are used to import the data set anyway from here our job starts so just click here then it will execute okay so you can see the data set and you know that to download data set you have to use import pandas as pd now pd.read csv function and this is the link of the data set okay wait for watching the first five rows you can see this is fixed acidity volatile acidity citric acid residual sugar chlorides free sulfur dioxide total sulfur dioxide density ph sulfates alcohol quality these things are given in red wine data set okay now they have provided some exercise so we will solve this you can get the number of rows and columns of a data frame with the shape attribute you can uh, tell that because we have already studied that if you use dot shape then they provide you rows and columns now let me run this one just see uh sorry then i think import pandas and now you just see 1599 rows and columns means 12 fine you can see 12 columns okay now how can we predict a wine sparship quality from the physiochemical measurements the target is the quality here see some have good quality some have bad qualities depending on the ingredients now what is the question here the target is the quality and the remaining columns are the features fine how do you set the input save parameter for a keras model for this task now let's do the exercise first you have to write the code here they have given you the question you have to uh, guess the answer then you can check also fine if you run this then it will show you whether your answer is correct or not so suppose if i randomly write something like 13 then the input uh, first of all it will be in third bracket and then it will show that it will be incorrect okay anyway so we have to find what is the input set how can we tell that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have also got it from here that it has 12. Now, what is the in output? Output is the quality. So, you have to remove the quality. Then, the remaining are the features. So, input step is 11. That means, we have to give 11 features as input. Clear? 11 features as input, quality as output. Okay. So, here the right answer will be 11. Now, if I run it, correct. Okay. So, this way you can solve this. Now here they have also provided hint and solution. If you can't find the answer, then you can just click here. Then it will give you the hint and it will give you the solution also. Fine. Okay. Now next do the next one. Define a linear model. Here you have to just define the model. What will be the input and what will be the output. So you just have to write keras dot sequential and inside that uh, layers dot dense output units equals to one output comma input step input step means how many input features you want to give that is 11 right now if i run it sorry you have to give that very let's see okay here also you can just check the solution you have to just click here you can see the hint or you can see the solution fine we have just created a dense layer okay so we have 11 input features and one output fine okay now next look at the weights so you just want to know what are the weights and biases for this so you have to write model dot weights then you can see the weights and biases 
see here do you see how there's one weight for each input and notice that there does not seem to be any pattern to the values before the model is trained the weights are set to random numbers right here also you can uh, check the solution model dot weights okay let's print this because we want to say the weights see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 weights for 11 features clear now let's see the output plot here imported tensorflow matplotlib for plotting and c1 also can be used for plotting here they have created the model input step 1 and this is the linearly spaced some values minus 1 1 1.0 1 minus 1 0 1 0.0 okay and 100 is a linearly spaced values y equal to model dot predict and then they have plotted the figure so you can see that weight and bias okay so you can plot this now in our next lesson we will study make your model stick so today summarize the things we have learned we have learned how to uh, take any data set we know these things already and then we have created a model and we have seen their weights and biases if you want you can plot the weights and biases okay so i hope you have enjoyed doing this exercise and uh, if you want any other improvement if you want me to explain anything else please let me know in the comment section because my wish is to make your learnings very easy smooth and enjoyable okay so bye happy learning